Gina from the Children's Museum of Green Bay and welcome to our STEAM Lab. Today we're going to do a cool activity called Coffee Filter Butterflies and not only are you going to get a cool craft out of it, but we're also going to learn about things like symmetry and capillary action. All right, let's get started. For this activity, you are going to need some markers, water and a paintbrush, a coffee filter, a clothespin, and some sort of tray. All right, so first what you're gonna do is take your coffee filter and you're going to draw on it with your markers. This is a chance for you to work on some symmetry. So the coffee filter is going to be your butterfly's wings. One side of the coffee filter will be one side of the wing and the other side will be the other side of the wings. So we want both sides of these to be symmetrical. What does that mean? It means that they look the same, but they're mirror images of each other. And that's just how butterfly wings are. So if I take my blue marker and I draw a line down one side, I have to draw a line down the other side that's the same. Okay? Just like that. All right, then I can take a different color. Maybe I'll take orange and make some dots. If I do it on one side, I have to do it the same on the other side. Maybe I'll choose one more thing. Take some green and I'll make a zigzag. The thicker and more bold you make your designs, the cooler your wings are gonna turn out. So go over your designs so that they're nice thick lines. Like that. All right, once you're done with your design, then you are going to get out your water with your paintbrush. And you're just going to paint water all over your coffee filter. Now what's happening when you do this is called capillary action. And that means that the pigment, the color that's inside your marker is absorbing in the water and the water molecules are spreading that pigment around. It's carrying it through the coffee filter. So once you've got that all uh, covered with water, you're going to set it off to the side and let it dry. Once it's dried, you're going to grab it back again and take a look at what happens. Kind of looks like tie dye, doesn't it? All right, so now we can make this into a butterfly. So I'm gonna take the middle from the top and the bottom and kind of crunch it down and pinch it like this. Can you kind of see the wings now? Then you can take your paper clip. Oh, that's not a paper clip. What is this? A clothespin. <laughs> and pinch it right in the middle. And you have your butterfly. If you wanted to, you could also color the clothespin or add some little wiggly eyes to it to make it even cuter. Here we go. And then you can clip it up on some place in your house to decorate your house and you've got a cool little project there. All right, well, if you make a butterfly, we'd love to see it, so please post it in the comment sections. Thank you so much, and we will see you next time. Bye!